in this video. The Bitcoin price action has now reached at the 50,000 US dollar value. But guys, take a look at this RSI as our RSI is rapidly declining within the next within the past few days. Well, stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out videos like this. So yeah, let's now dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So diba sa ating previous analysis, ang sinasabi ko sa inyo na kailangan natin i-monitor is the RSI. Kasi traditionally and typically whenever na we are seeing the Bitcoin is increasing while RSI is declining, that is going to start a warning sign. And diba sabi ko din sa inyo, usually this can continue the uptrend pa rin at tumuloy-tuloy pa rin siya pakit ang pakit at at the same time, pwede pa rin bumaba ng bumaba yung RSI niyan. So in that case, ano ba yung kailangan natin tingnan ngayon dito with the Bitcoin price action? So, Take a look at this guys. So, right now, Bitcoin has been consistently forming this trend na pakit pa rin siya ng pakit, but RSI is still consistently declining. So, that is somewhat of a sign na mayroon tayong potential bearish divergence in some of the upcoming days. So, we have to watch out if this is going to play out kasi if let's say this is a bearish divergence, then we can see Bitcoin see a retracement to the downside muna before we see any uptrend dito kay Bitcoin. So, in this case, ano yung kailangan ni monitor? <clears throat> So, yung kailangan dito i-monitor is, di ba, yung una is yung bearish divergence. The other thing is the support area forming dito. So, as you can see, right now, we are somewhat starting to form a broadening rising wedge. And traditionally, a broadening rising wedge is a bearish pattern to the downside. Usually, yung nangyari dyan is pakit ang pakit yung price up until na mag-reach na siya. So, a certain point, then if let's say, nag-start na tayo mag-break yung support area, bababa yan up until dun sa bottom ng wedge natin. So, traditionally, Yan yung itsura ng broadening falling wedge. So, in this case, we might see Bitcoin go back. Let's see yan yung potential levels natin dito. We might see Bitcoin go back around the 47,500 US dollar level. If, let's say, this is going to play out within the next few days and next few weeks. So, right now, ang important thing dito na kailangan tingnan is this trend. Sa ngayon, hindi pa confirm yung bearish divergence na yan kasi it's still, a, it's, the pattern is still continuing and it's still forming. The only time na we can confirm this bearish divergence is the moment na ma-break natin yung support area. So, the moment na ma-break natin yung support area na yan at nagkaroon ng sell volume, then doon natin confirm yung bearish divergence natin tapos makakapag-open tayo ng short position. So, take note, ang kailangan natin dito tingnan is not only this trend na packet na packet but as well as the support area as well as the volume if you're going to see any sell volume upon this bearish breakout. So, yun yung ating may monitor dito with the Bitcoin price action. And siguro if let's say if this is if let's say ano ba yung bullish scenario dito. So potential bullish scenario lang talaga na nakikita natin dito is if let's say ma-break natin yung resistance dito. You know, yung resistance na yan. Then saka lang tayo makita ng bullish movement dito kay Bitcoin. But as of now, it looks like na masyado na siyang overbought in the 4 or 9 frame. So I think it's somewhat time for a pullback na nga pabalik ng siguro around the 49,000, 48 or 47,000 US dollars. So right now, that is what I am currently watching out dito with the Bitcoin price action. Now, ano ba yung areas na pwede natin tingnan? So you can actually watch out yung una yung 47,500. Next is the 48,500, which is the next support area. Next na pwede mong tingnan is the 49,900 or roughly around the 50,000 US dollars. So okay, right now, those are the areas na pwede natin tingnan. If let's say mag-open ka ng short position dito, yun yung mga pwede natin targets na i-monitor dito with the Bitcoin price action. If let's say this goes down, and mag-start na siya magkaroon ng pullback. So right now, that is what I am currently monitoring dito. And take note guys, if you want to open this next trade, make sure to trade this guys kay Bybit kasi kay Bybit mas mura ating Bitcoin trading fees. And if wala pa kayo angat with Bybit, make sure to use our sign-up link and you can find the description down below. And if you want to learn how to open a trade kay Bybit, meron din tayo tutorial videos na meron na, apply, na available in the description down below. So all of our resources are available for free guys in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. But anyway, yun muna natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.